today I am super excited because we're hitting up three different pizza restaurants that are doing pizza so, so good. The first spot is a spot that is doing everything right, making homemade dough, great sauce, and putting some great ingredients into Chicago pizzas. And I have a special guest along with me today, Steve Delinsky. He's an author and an anchor on ABC Chicago. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to eat. I'm on the hunt to find the biggest, juiciest, most flavor packed dishes that the city of Chicago has to offer. I'm a college student, so I need to find the cheapest spots without losing out on any flavor. Together, we're gonna find the restaurants that make the Windy City the place to be. While uncovering all the secrets from the restaurants, we will take back what we learned to make it cheaper and just as good. I'm Will Coleman, and I'm in the Windy City. This is the real thing here. This is the deep dish I've been waiting for. I cannot wait to dive in. Um, it looks a little different than what people in Chicago think. A lot of people think it's stuffed. It's not yeah. stuffed. It's so what is this? Dish. This is a deep pan, okay? So it's dough at the bottom, not pushed up along the sides. Okay. But that caramelized edge you see on the upper perimeter, that's burnt mozzarella cheese. And that's what the best part is, right? I think <laughs> the best part. It's like the frico, the cracker, if you will. So I'm gonna serve you a slice if that's Perfect. all right. Okay. There we go. Look at that cheese pull. That's a nice little cheese pull. It's not overkill, right? You yeah. Scrape the edge off like there. Like the and I'm gonna take another one for me. I just, I love, the bottom of this is a little bit firm. Uh, before they bake this, they put in some coarse cornmeal at the bottom, which you find a lot of times in Chicago. It's not only a lubricant, so it doesn't stick, but it's also flavor, and it gives you a little bit of texture. So that sauce is homemade as well, right? Sauce is homemade. They use three different types of tomato sauce for this. Crushed, uh, pureed, uh, sapori filettis, which are peeled tomatoes. There's a little bit of cayenne some, in the sauce. Some spice would be in there. There's a mirepoix, a fancy term mirepoix, for onions. celery, carrots, and onions that's yeah. blended into this sauce. That's a chef word. <laughs> Big chefy word. And then in the sausage, which is this bulk sausage, which again, very Chicago to have bulk sausage. There's a little bit of Calabrian chili. Um, it's pinched and pressed, so it's not like sliced from a breakfast link on yeah. the East Coast. It's actually pinched and pressed onto the dough. That's the best way to have it. Mm. So good. Never get tired of this pizza. Right? You come every week, right? Come every Saturday. We have uh, pizza tours. In the winter, we do Saturdays and Sundays. So Saturdays, we come here first. We do deep, and then we do three other styles. Okay. And then on Sundays, we go to four different places. So you're having pizza all weekend. I just think it's important to show people a really good textbook version of deep dish. Yeah. Because again, a lot of people think, I mean, nothing wrong with Lou's, all due respect. There's, you know, 50 plus locations. But, but there's more pizza out there. But there's a lot of other pizza out there. And this one is just so unique. This is a one-off. This is the only place you can find it in the city. They have one location in the suburbs in Oak Brook, but I like what Rich has done with, he's sort of re-engineered the pie, and it's sort of taking the best from the original Mai Pai and Lou's, but also the caramelized perimeter from Pequod's and Burt's in the suburbs. Um, I just, and there's a little bit of fennel pollen if you want to add to this. You can get, it typically comes with dried oregano and Pecorino Romano, yeah. which is a sort of a dry, salty sheep's milk cheese. That's a good contrast to all that milky mozzarella underneath. And there is about, a pound and a half of mozzarella on this. A pound and a half? Which, it sounds like a lot, but there's only about, on a large, there's 12 slices of mozzarella. Okay. And each slice is about two ounces. So, so that's, that's plenty. 24 plenty. ounces is a, lot of, is a lot of mozzarella. But again, uh, this dough, here's the cool thing about this dough, because there's a lot of corn flour, corn oil, um, and the coarse corn meal, and they let it rest for at least a day and a half, okay. you can actually pick up these slices. You don't have to use a knife and fork all the time, right? Yeah, there's it's some not that messy either. There's integrity, right? There's stability. Um, yes, the cheese is sort of oozing off the sides, but I like that you can hold this up. There's, we call this the undercarriage. Okay. There's this sort of brown, sort of evenly tan chassis underneath the pizza, and it's not flaccid and soft and soggy. And a lot of times, Deep Dish does that. Yeah, it does. And I like how firm this is. You can hold it up and eat it like a real person. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the book is really a labor of love. I spent about a year, year and a half, really working hard on it. About three months of solid eating, three a day, four a day, and then another wave of doing three months of three and four a day. So I went to a total of 185 places to get to 101, and the result is Pizza City USA, 101 reasons 
why Chicago is America's greatest pizza town. I really felt that it was important to look at the different styles we have in Chicago. We have more than deep dish and stuff. We are not a one note town and that's kind of why I wanted to write the book. And then of course the tours that we do on the weekends stem from the book. Yeah, the, sh the book is packed with so much history about pizza, beautiful pictures and some awesome text to inspire you to go out in Chicago and explore some great pizza. Where are we headed to next? We're gonna go to Bonchi. Okay. Which is Roman Altaglio. We're here in the West Loop. This is Bonchi, Roman Altaglia, which is by the cut. The only place this guy exists outside of Rome is here in Chicago. That's awesome. I cannot wait to head inside and try out their variety of awesome pizzas. Let's, Let's go. go. So the interesting thing about this is the dough, of course. They got three different types of flour. There's double zero, whole wheat, organic. The, the resting time's important, a minimum 36 hours to 72 hours of resting what? time. Lots of moisture in the dough, so it's got a lot of complexity that you just don't find in other pizzas. Yeah. And then it's the toppings. I mean, you don't need red sauce to have great pizza. You don't. You can have potato mozzarella, which is very popular in Italy. You can have this ricotta over here with lemon zest, black pepper, zucchini. I love this combination on this type of dough. Um, and then over here, just a, a rosa with buffalo mozzarella, some dried tomatoes, arugula. I just think the freshness is important, um, the variety, the crispiness. Roman pizza is always crunchy. Yeah. Unlike Neapolitan, where we're also gonna try, typically a little bit soupier, wetter in the middle, Roman pizza is always crunchy. You see the handmade Castelli ovens they have here, terracotta decks, promotes that crispy, crunchy bottom. That's really important. When you bite into this pizza, it's gonna crunch. Okay. And it looks beautiful too, like these colors are like bursting with this bright. Right, you eat, you eat with your eyes, right? Yeah. I mean, it absolutely looks, looks delicious. I think, what are we waiting for? Are yeah, we gonna just dig in? Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with the ricotta. Yeah. And look at the air pockets too, the, all the little open crumb you see, it's almost like focaccia. That's from all the moisture, and then this beautiful, the resting time as well. Time to ferment this dough. That crunch you're talking about? Mm -hmm. This is everything, man. Isn't it right? So good. So in Rome, Mr. Bonchi's got about 1,500 flavors, but in America, that's obviously not realistic. Yeah, not. So, but at least 100 or so are going to be rotating. And you see the seasonal changes here, pumpkin in the winter time, um, fresh vegetables uh, in the summertime, they got roasted eggplant. I mean, just so many different types of flavors you would never going to see in another pizza place in Chicago. Most places in Chicago, pepperoni, sausage, jardiner. If you ask for pepperoni in Italy, Get, you get green peppers. There are no pepperoni there. Yeah. Right? So it's a very different approach to the toppings, but also just look at the side of this pizza. It looks like focaccia. That to me says there's flavor, complexity, um, texture, uh, texture, moisture in this dough as well. No red sauce, but no it red. still has great flavor. You don't need red sauce to eat the pizza. You don't need tomato sauce all the time. Absolutely not. I've not had this one before. This is the, the buffalo mozzarella, buffalo mozzarella, dried tomato, arugula. Mm. This one right here, so creamy and fresh, some amazing flavors. How's that one? I like it, but I like the lemon zest. I like the black pepper and the lemon zest on here. That lemon zest really wakes it up a little bit. This lemon zest is really rocking this pizza out. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, you bet. Where are we headed to next? We're gonna go up some Neapolitan okay. down the street at Forno Rosso. Very different style of pie. A little bit softer and wetter in the middle, but I think you're gonna like it. So we are at our final stop for the Chicago Pizza Tour with Steve. Tell them where we're at. We're at Forno Rosso. This is a Neapolitan style pizza place in the West Loop. We haven't had this yet, so this is our final stop, and I cannot wait to dive into some great Neapolitan pizza. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so what do we have here in front of us? It looks amazing. First of all, it smells great. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's got prosciutto and arugula. That's a typical combination you find here, but then there's a little bit of I think because they know you, a little bit of shaved winter black truffle. It's a really nice fancy flair to the pizza. A little bit, it's much more of aroma really. I think black truffles are great for aroma, but look at the cornicione, look at the leopard spotting. Look at, I mean, this is kind of this beautiful puffy blistered edge. Yeah. The middle is gonna be quite thin and soft. 
Now, you know this is a legit place because they have a VPN certification, Barache Pizza Napolitana. That sounds really official. It is official. They've checked all these boxes. They have the right oven, the right oil, the right sauce, the right cheese. Everything is sort of done the right way here as they do in Naples, which yeah. is where pizza was born. Okay. Okay, so you want to dig into this? Yeah, I I cannot All right. wait. So it's already been cut. I think it's been cut for us. They helped us out a little they bit. They helped us out a little bit? Okay. We gotta fold it a little that. bit. Yeah, you gotta kind of fold it. You gotta kind of work, work at it a little bit. It, usually it's knife and fork pizza um, because it is quite delicate. So I'm gonna get my knife and fork out here, no shame. And I'm gonna just, I, I guess I could go hands. You could fold it. Yeah, it'll sort of work. I'll work with my hands in doing this. Mm -hmm. Such a different crust, right? Chewier, softer, double zero flour, very delicate. <laughs> Amazing, like I'm really speechless right now. This crust is so good. They also have a little bit of chili oil. Okay, let's you try that out. Yes, yeah, try it. And a little bit of chili oil on there. They got a pizza in that really nice oven. You know how hot the oven is? About 900 degrees, right? 900 degree oven, fire oven, put that pizza in. Look at that underneath the crust. Beautiful. Black that's, the under, that's the undercarriage, the chassis. If that you will. chassis of that crust right there. Yeah, you want to see a little bit of blistering. That's really nice too. So I, I really think what they do here is really special. And you look at the, the side, you see little air pockets. Um, you want to see leopard spotting. This is really a, a classic textbook Neapolitan style pizza. Very different crust than the other two we've had, right? We had a sort of a crispy, full flavored one with lots yeah. of cornmeal. We had a more delicate one that was crispy, crunchy on the bottom, but it was lots of air pockets in the middle. This is uh, not totally different. Yes, a whole different ball game, and it's not too oily either. It's right. packed with flavor, it's super light, fresh ingredients, and not all the oil. Right. So we've been talking about pizza this whole entire tour. Let's talk about you a little bit in the industry. Okay. How did you get into the food industry? Hmm. Well, I'm eating pizza. Um, <laughs> so, Kind of by accident, actually. Okay. I was a news reporter uh, at CLTV, which is the Tribune's 24-hour news channel in town, and wasn't really fulfilled with that kind of work, but yeah. I was right place, right time, and they were launching a show called Good Eating, which was a mirror image of the Tribune's food section that was coming out of a week, and they wanted somebody to create a cable TV version of that food section. So I produced that show for the first year, I took over as the host and producer the second year, that show for eight years. Okay. Uh, the show won a bunch of James Beard Awards, and I, while I was doing that TV show for CLTV, I started freelancing for public radio and for the reader and anybody I could sort of work for yeah. and learn about food. And then I went over to ABC in 2003, so 15 years ago. I made the jump over there, and my job title over there is really food reporter. So I do everything: pizza, high end, low end, city, suburbs, all kinds of ethnicities, all kinds of immigrant cuisine. I mean, kind of whatever looks interesting and whatever tastes good. That's kind of what I can do. So, you have it, you, so you've had your foot in the door for a long time now. You're here to stay. What's one of your favorite restaurants that you've done for ABC? Well, I really like the ones in the neighborhood. So I've a place like Lula Cafe. has been there for 20 years in Logan Square. I love that place. Um, I love places like Parachute, a totally personal mom and pop restaurant, mm -hmm. kind of doing sort of modern Korean in Avondale, a neighborhood you don't hear about a lot in Chicago. Um, I really like Pilsen. I really like uh, Haisu, what Tai Dang is doing down there with his wife on 18th Street, and Sky, down, SKY down the street. They're doing just fantastic work and really pushing the envelope in that neighborhood that for so many years has been either Bohemian, you know, Czech, or l later Mexican and, and sort of taquerias. And so now you're seeing that kind of the next wave of, of immigrants and of uh, restaurant tours that are going into this neighborhood and are really kind of making it interesting. We've had it all. Steve, thank you so much for this pizza tour. It means the world to me and I'm super poor now. I appreciate <laughs> it. done my job. Yeah, you've done your job. Cheers. All right. I couldn't be happier. I just tried out three different types of pizzas with the amazing Steve Zielinski from ABC Chicago. I will see you all next week for a brand new episode of Will Coleman in the Windy City. Thanks for watching.